This is 91.3 FM, WCAW in Worcester, Massachusetts. If you're not listening to us on 91.3, hopefully you're catching this on our Radio Horror YouTube channel. And tonight we have on the show from the new film, Death House, which is uh, coming out or recently come out, which I can't wait to see. Uh, we have also from the Friday the 13th video game and best known as playing Shelly from Friday the 13th Part 3D, we have Larry Zerner on the show with us. Thank you for coming on the show with us, Larry. Oh, thanks for having me. You're also at Knights of Badassdom, which is a movie I absolutely love, but I know there's a lot of uh, behind-the-scenes stuff I've heard about that film uh, in regards to uh, things and stuff like that I've heard on a, uh, a great podcast called uh, um, uh, Movie Crypt. Uh, yeah, uh, Knights of Badassdom is a lot of fun. Uh, I was lucky enough to be in it because I'm old friends with the producer and with Joe, so they gave me a little, that little cameo in the beginning – uh, and then, uh, you know, I'm a lawyer and I, uh, and actually I'm being involved in three lawsuits involving that movie. So, uh, was involved in both ends. Yikes. <laughs> uh, but which is kind of sad considering, um, that was really kind of your return to filmmaking over the last five years. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. That was the first, uh, the first job I did, uh, basically since I gave up acting to go to law school. How has the uh, life as a lawyer been versus life as an actor? Well, it's much more lucrative uh, to be a lawyer, uh, <laughs> uh, to be honest. Uh, I'm, I'm probably a better lawyer uh, than I was an actor. Um, um, uh, you know, acting is a lot more fun most of the time, although lawyer, lawyering is fun too. I enjoy it. Uh, I have great clients, and uh, it's a good time, but... Um, you know, every once in a while, uh, people give me these little parts, and that's always fun to, to dip my feet back in the water. Do you you do a lot of um, production lawyer uh, attorney uh, services? Like it seems like with documentaries, mostly horror documentaries, of course, which is uh, you know uh, indicative of where you started and came from. Well, yeah, because yeah, I, I mean, I'm friends with uh, the. the the guy, Dan Farrens and Tommy Hudson, who did, and I did, so I worked on Crystal Lake Memories, and I worked on uh, Never Sleep Again, uh, which are fantastic documentaries, Although, but most of my practice is actually litigation, oh. uh, suing people um, who are not getting paid or whose scripts get ripped off, um, things like that. So a Hollywood lawyer, almost, to help the little guy. That's what I do. That's right? awesome. That's very noble, in fact, actually. Um, and that unto itself could be its own horror movie. In some ways. <laughs> <laughs> um, there, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, how does it feel being resurrected? How does resurrection feel? Uh, you mean the, the return of Shelly to yeah. the video game? Yeah. <laughs> or. Yeah, I, I meant the, re the resurrection of Shelly in the video game. <laughs> it, which, which, by the way, happens fantastic. every time they die. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, it wasn't. I mean, this sort of the this resurgence of Shelley, or this this idea of people telling me that Shelley's become you know this iconic character as opposed to just this annoying character from uh, Friday Thirteen um, is uh, is is amazing, uh, and uh, it's a nice little. Uh, it's it's nice. I, I didn't have much of an acting career, but that I have this one part and. People still remember it fondly, and, and, and for that I get to, you know, travel the country and sometimes go – I went to Germany in November to, to a convention and, and meet fans and, and, and talk to people and meet great people. It's, it's really amazing. Um, the one disappointment I have with your character in the video game, it has nothing to do with so much your character, but it's something I, I tweeted to the, uh, the, the, the game creators and said, you guys put Shelly in the game, but you could have given us like the Shelly pulls prank and other campers fall for it achievement. Like, you know, you do something and maybe a camper finds it and then falls for it. You know what I mean? Or you do something to Jason, like some type of prank, he falls for it and you get the achievement. You know what I mean? You know, I'm sure if 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 they could do all these things, they would do it. It's not because they don't want to do it. That you know, they're a very small studio, yeah, and they're just trying to keep the game going and build up as many things they can for everybody. And you know, they're still trying to work out that they're getting that um, the new gameplay, the new game mode. So, yeah, I mean, it's it, it, unlimited time, unlimited budget. I'm sure they'd put that in. 
but were you involved in the um or do you have an appearance because i haven't watched it yet but i know there's a friday the 13th part three documentary out now about the actor who played jason yeah i i, I i'm in it yeah i i did an interview for that cool um yeah how what uh what are some uh, a couple of great things you can say about our uh, dearly departed actor for part three uh yeah richard was a lovely guy i mean I, you know unfortunately I, you know the the thing about the movie is i actually do not share any scenes with richard True. so i don't have any great mem- i mean i remember like i'd see him on the set and he'd, and he'd be around but uh we never actually worked together because my kill is off screen um so and then after the movie i didn't see him i didn't see anyone in for 20 years until we had a 20th anniversary screening and then Richard showed up and then I'd see him at conventions and he was, he said he was a really nice guy, a really smart guy. He won an, uh, he won an Emmy for technical, for inventing some kind of technical thing. And, uh, uh, was, was became in the, in, involved in the backstage, uh, stuff. And, and he was a really smart, uh, clever, uh, successful guy. It was really such a shame that he, he died so, or so young. How long did it take to do all your lines, and uh, were you doing any type of motion capture for the game? I did not do the motion capture. I did my, I did all the lines. It took a day. We did, you know, spend a day in there, um, recording over and over again. Ah, ah, ah! You know, all that. <laughs> did you get to play? Have you uh, have you played uh, your character in the game just to see how many different ways you can be killed? Of course, of course. <laughs> That's all I play now. <laughs> Does uh, do you uh, do you have uh, do you have family members that have been like, I get to play you and you die, or oh, I escaped, or you know, has anyone any, anyone uh, really close to you played it and then really given you a uh, uh, a ribbing over it? Uh, more of my friends. Uh, my friends were playing. My my family's not uh, more, not much gamers, but I have a lot of friends who who played and get a big kick out of you know playing me in the game. Um. I, uh, there was a, uh, there was, a, I, I, it seems like in the game, uh, part three's, uh, a big part of it more than maybe a couple of the others, you know, like maybe part four, um, uh, but definitely part three had a lot of emphasis in it because they've had like, what, two, maybe three characters put into it. Plus, um, you know, one of the maps was from part three as well. So right, yeah. it seems like there was a lot of part three love uh, put into that game. Yeah. Yeah. No, right. You could, there's foxes in the game and there's a Chuck clone in the game. Um, and Jason from three is in the game. So there's literally four characters from the movie in the game. And I think Fox, and, Fox and the put, set Fox was put in there because the actress passed away actually this past year. Correct. Uh, yes. She died. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, and uh, I think in early of 2017. Yeah, it was very sad. Uh, what can you talk to, tell us about Death House? And is it out yet? I don't remember. Uh, so they opened in L.A. They had a screening, so just in L.A. And then I think this week they went a little wider, and then next week they're going wider still. So it, you just have to check your theater or check the Death House um, website to see which cities it's opening in. Uh, cause it'll be in, in just one theater or two theaters in in these cities. So, um, but it's opening, but really this weekend and next weekend, I think is most of the theaters will be opening. And you come full circle with a holiday film, uh, as you, uh, your next big release is going to be all the creatures were stirring. Yes. That's a, um, a, uh, 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 Christmas anthology horror, uh, movie uh, uh, written and directed by uh, David McKendry and, and Rebecca McKendry from Shockwaves Pod, and um, and uh, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, I think four or five stories, maybe six. Oh, I haven't actually seen it yet. They haven't they haven't shown it to us yet. What's your? Um, can you talk about what your story is about? Uh, our my story is about a. Uh, uh, people uh, who are at a uh, their office Christmas party and they open up uh, their gifts and uh, bad things happen. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I, the last thing that IMDb says that was updated it was like 2018, but so this is coming out like later this year. I'm assuming in time for Christmas. 
It'll be out. Yeah, it'll be out next Christmas. That's fantastic. I like it when a good Christmas horror movie actually comes out at Christmas time and not like months. I think they're they're showing it at the Lexington Film Festival. I think they just announced that. Oh, cool! Uh, Fantastic. um, So if you're in Lexington, you can see me before I see. (laughs) I'm scratching my brain, but I don't believe there's been a Christmas anthology horror. No, there was. It was terrible. Uh, but there hasn't been a lot of them, so I, I'm I'm wishing the best of luck for this one. Well, the the the, the McKendries are, are amazingly talented, and uh, uh, I'm I, I'm sure it'll be great. Do you have any conventions that you're coming you're going to come out? Uh, I think I'm going to uh, on the ten eleven on schedule is Mad Monster in uh, Arizona in. On July thirteenth, which is a Friday thirteenth, mm-hmm. uh, and I think they're doing a bunch of uh, game. Uh, a bunch of people from the game will be there. Kane will be there. I think Kane is doing a photo shoot in the retro Jason, the the Nintendo Jason. Cool. Um, which sounds great. I, I'm gonna have to get my picture taken, and uh, I think I'll also be a Day of the Dead in Chicago in November. Have you ever thought about stepping out from behind the camera? I mean, in front of the camera to to uh, make something yourself. Uh, I think about it a lot. I just don't have the discipline. It can be um, extremely time consuming. I have my own project, which is like kind of floundering right now without a director. Um, and someone's like, direct it yourself. And I'm like, I am terrible at giving direction. So I kind of have to push this thing back like a month to give it more time to find a director. Yeah, I have I have lots of great ideas in my head. I just don't have the uh, don't have the discipline to, to sit and, and write it out. I understand. Uh, give away where uh, fans can contact you and uh, send you messages or video clips of them playing you as Jay in, in the uh, Friday the Thirteenth game. Uh, you know, Facebook is always good. You can friend me on Facebook. I pretty much take everyone as friends on Facebook. Uh, you know, I'm on Twitter. Larry Zerner on Twitter. Is my personal Zerner Law for legal stuff. If you want a lawyer, you can reach me at zernerlaw.com, and that's how you get in touch with me. It's, I'm just Google me. It's I'm all over the place. Awesome, it's well, all hey, me. Larry, thank you. So uh, it's not, when you're only Larry Zerner, it's easy to find. Yeah, definitely. It was your it was the first name that that popped up, uh, which was fantastic, and I had to go through like twelve other people with the same kind of name as yours. <laughs> right. Uh, well, hey, thank you so much for taking some time to uh, come on the show real quick to talk a little bit about your resurrection and everything else that you worked on. Um, and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing Death House once it finally comes out, as well as uh, your Christmas anthology horror movie. Yeah, uh, it's, Death House is a lot of fun. Don't uh, Just to be clear, I, I'm in the credit sequence. I'm in the like the Marvel mid-credits break. That's where you should see me. Don't look for me. You know, So don't spend your whole time going, where's Larry? I show up in the credits. Okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> but a lot of other people show up all through it. So it's not like, you know, Kane's in there, Danny Trejo, Sid Haig, Tony Todd, uh, Bill Mosley, Barbara Crampton, big oh, Felissa Rose. This is a big cast. Big yeah, cast. I mean, God, they're talking about Death House as being the, um, uh, the horror version of the Expendables. Yeah, right. Because of just how many people are in it, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, lots of people. Again, thank you so much for coming on the show with us, Larry. Uh, You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Bye. Goodbye.